Hello and welcome. Today we're going to play with stencil bits and we're going to use the diamond shape today. These are a lot of fun to work with. They are made out of Yupo paper and what I like about these is that you have many of them. Not just one or two or three but you have a lot of them which gives you a lot of flexibility in the designs that you create on your gel plate. Let's do a few experiments using these stencil bits and see what we can create. I'm starting out with a clean gel plate and just placing them on the plate. I'm going with a real simple design just to start. For our first layer of paint we're going to use Payne's Gray. The idea here is to have the paint collect alongside those stencil bits it'll create an outline of those diamonds eventually so I'm going to just roll on this paint and then pick it up with a piece of scrap paper we want to leave the stencil bits exactly where they are don't move them and then we're going to go in with our second color and do the exact same thing now the orange will collect along the edges of the diamonds and create that outline that I'm looking for Picking up the orange paint color with the piece of scrap paper, I am not being too fussy about how much paint that I pick up. Actually, you want to leave a little bit. We're going to add one more color. We're going to add ocean green, and we're going to do the exact same thing that we did with the first two colors. I wanted to add some white to this design. So as you can see here, I did put down some more diamonds on top of all of the paint layers. When we lift the final print, what will happen is those diamonds will pick up all of the paint or some of the paint that's underneath it. Being that the paper that I'm using is white, the paint that was picked up by the diamonds, the white paper will show through. It's a little hard to see right here, but the diamonds did pick up some of that paint. Now it's time to lift the print. This one actually turns out really, really nice. I like it a lot. I like all the coloring in there. Kind of looks rustic. Got my white in there like I wanted. Do you notice how each of the diamonds are kind of outlined? And that is the reason for layering the paint on top of each other without removing the diamonds. That'll get you that look. I want to give you a few more ideas on how you can use these stencil bits and I'm also going to run through this quite quickly. You can certainly make these yourself out of just regular paper what I really like about these is that you can make so many different designs with them. Looks like I lost some footage here. So what I did is after I put on the parchment white, I took off the stencil bits, let it dry thoroughly, and now I am adding Payne's Gray. I love how simple this print turned out. It kind of reminds me of a chain link fence. Here's another example of what you can do with these stencil bits. Like I said, just create your own design and that's what I'm going to do here. And this time I'm going to add some image transferring, some stamping, and some image transferring using some scrapbooking paper. I'm going to take the diamonds off and then I'm going to let this dry thoroughly before going on to the next step. Actually that's not exactly true. I want to do some stamping first and then I'm going to let that totally dry and then we'll go on to the next step. All right, let's go in with some orange and then I am going to use a piece of scrapbooking paper to 
image transfer the design onto the gel plate. However, this did not get recorded either. I have no idea what's up with my phone, but here it is. I'm going to let that dry and then I'm going to lift the final print. I love how this print turned out. So different than a lot of the others. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. At the end here, I am going to show you a few examples of other prints that I made using these stencil bits. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time, bye for now.